I warned my son, Benjo, but he wouldn't listen. Benjo wouldn't listen to his mother. I warned him when he was coming to marry you. Now look at it. No child. Mama, I am a human being. I'm not God. And I know that one day God is going to take this reproach away from me. Don't worry. God will take the reproach away. I have spoken. All I need is a grandchild of Egeli. That is all. If you like, keep waiting for anybody. That is your business. But as for me, Uloma, all I need is a grandchild. Look at Kenneth. Kenneth just married not long ago. Yes, married Uju not long ago. Now they have a bouncing baby girl. God knows, only God knows whether it's Obegeli is pregnant again. Maybe. You, you keep waiting. Wait, wait, wait. Wanyaga, keep waiting. Hey, I will wait. I will wait. God's time is the best. Hey, mama. things you're saying, they're not strange to me. Mothers will always need grandchildren whenever their sons get married. So your mother is no different. But as the man of the house, you have to try and make us a reason. Okay. Okay. You, you sound as if you don't know my mother. Look, to be honest with you, her staying in my house is causing my wife high blood pressure. No matter what my wife does, she complains. My mother is always complaining. What then do you wish to do? I don't know. You just have to try and put all these things behind you and hope that one day things will sort themselves out. Or would you want me to come over and speak with her? I will really appreciate it if you can, okay? And I pray it works. Okay. Let's see what happens. Bar girl. Sir. I'll be your place. I'm so sorry for keeping you awake. Please accept my sincere apology. Apology accepted. Thank you. So what kept you so long? Sit down, sit down, <laughs> sit down. Who were you with at this dangerous time of the night? Who else than my best childhood friend, Ben? He invited me over to Monarch restaurant for a discussion about his mother. Is she sick or what? No, she's just been hassling him about his not being able to have a child since he got married. She's pressuring him so much that she's gotten aggressive about it. Poor him. Why won't mothers allow God to take control? <laughs> After all, children are gifts from God. That's true. It is not by our power. 
Well, I um, I just advised him to take it easy, put it all behind him, yes. and that tomorrow I'll go and speak with his mother. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, can I get her food for you? Food? Mm -hmm. I said Ben invited me over to Monarch Restaurant. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where, where's our little girl? Where's Jane? Ah, uh, she has gone to bed. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me just uh, let me rest for a while before I take a shower. <laughs> so let me run your back for you. Okay. Me, okay. okay. <laughs> hey. labored for in life. Keep wasting it. All I want is a grandchild. Hey, hey, hey. All Oloma is asking for is a grandchild. And my going back to the village does not stop me from asking for it. If you can't conceive, you better tell me. Tell me now so that I can get another woman for my only son, Benji. Mama, why all this again? Mama, why all this? Look, let me take you to the park. I'm, I'm late for work. It's all right, okay? It's all right. Stop crying. Wipe your tears, okay? Look, Mama is only joking. <laughs> He's only joking. I'm not joking, though. Benji, stop it! Stop it, Benji! And you, Obegili, I give you nine months of grace. If you don't conceive and bear me a grandchild, you will see my next line of action. Yes. And you people, are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not ashamed? Buying and selling expensive cars while your mates, your mates have gotten two, three, four, five children. What have you got to show for your marriage? Nothing! No chance! Mama, please! Mama, please! I'm going and freshen up, okay? Quickly, just going and freshen up. Uh, come in! Ken. Ben, Ben. Mama. Uju. Mama, you're welcome. Ken. You're, See, you're welcome. Sweet. Looking it's younger just, every day. It is good. <laughs> oh, Chuku. Mama, it's like you're going back to the village. 
Mm. Yes. <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry we did not come to see you since you came. It's just because my little kid, Jane, has not been feeling fine. Eh? Yes. Jane? She hasn't been well. Oh, no. oh. How is she feeling now? Uh, she's, well, getting she's getting better. She's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> You're pregnant. Uh, oh, please. Ah, uh, Mama, <laughs> no! <laughs> Where is Odi? Has she gone to the market? Which market? That one. She's inside doing nothing. Ken, would you? You people should better warn her. Every stubborn grasshopper ends up in the stomach of a bed. Mama, please. It's Just okay. take it easy with her. It will be all right. No please. problem. Please. I am not quarreling with anybody. I'm not quarreling with her. But Uloma has spoken. Please, it's okay. It's okay. It, it will be all right. Please. Okay. Please. Benji, I have overstayed my welcome. Come and take me to the park. In your own Mama. house. Mama. Mama, please. What is all this? Mama, please. Come on. Come on. Your mother-in-law is saying all this just to break your heart. If you die of heartbreak, she will find another wife for her son. Be courageous. Stand on your faith. Pray without ceasing. Challenge God on his words. God promised us in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that the thought he has for his children is thought of peace and not of evil. He has given us future and hope. And you are here crying. Jesus Christ. Would you? Yes. I am tired. I've tried all I can. I know. I know, my I just feel like killing it's myself. It's okay. But still hope in God. He does his own thing. Obi, I know you're going through a lot now, but please just take it easy. I'm sure when God answers your prayer, your mother-in-law will sing a new song. Amen. Yes. Please just take it easy. When would that be? God's own time. It's It seems you are set for the market. Ah, you are correct, my yellow. Yeah. You know how I came out here yesterday? We meet ourselves in the morning hours. Hmm. I hope all is well. <sighs> all is not well. Erima, won't you offer me a seat? Oh. Sorry, my in law. Sit down, eh? Thank you. All is not well, Irina. I'm worried. I am bothered. I am worried about your daughter's inability to give my son a child. Hmm. Oh, what did you just say? In case you didn't hear me the first time, I will repeat myself. I am bothered about your daughter's continual stay in my son's house. If she's a woman, then let her conceive and bear my son a child. All I want is a grandchild. Now I understand. 
Look at me. Am I barren? If your mission this morning is to come and spoil my day, it won't work. But if it's an embarrassment, I will give it to you. Uloma, how many children do you have? How many children do you have? Only one. I mean, only one. Myself. I have seven children all alive. Who among us is now barren? Why were you not able to produce at least more than one? And all of So, Erima, this is all you have to say in this matter, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you are here bragging. Had it been you have the power, you should at least produce more than one. My advice to you is allow the sleeping dog lie. Give my daughter a breathing space. But mind you, if your son is well as you claimed, eh, they should have children. Hmm. Hmm. Erima. So this is all you have to say concerning this issue. Eh? Okay. I have not come here to batter words with you. I've only come so that we can find a solution. But since this is all you have to say, <laughs> be prepared. To be very prepared for me. All Oloma wants is a grandchild. Then wait for me. Mm. Because I will surely come back. <laughs> Uloma have spoken. Mm. Yes. Mm. I have spoken. Mm. I will come back. And when I come back, you will not be laughing the way you are laughing. <laughs> and you will not be talking the way you are talking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you are a great woman. Come anytime you like, I will be waiting. I will be ready for you. Have you had fever for some time now? Hmm? For how long have you had fever? Last two months. Last? Two months. So make sure you take a lot of vegetables. That would help improve your health condition very well. Okay. Your condition is perfect, madam. It's just that uh, you are six weeks uh, pregnant. <sighs> what is wrong, madam? Is anything the matter? You are shivering. And you're so quiet. What's the problem? I am not feverish. I'm only shedding tears of joy. God has finally taken away my reproach. Doctor, am I dreaming? Am I really pregnant? Please, doctor, tell me. Madam Obi, you are not dreaming. You are pregnant. Congratulations.
months that my mother has been in the village. Peace has been restored in my family. But one thing that keeps disturbing me is this recurrent dream I have about her. I'd love to go and see her, but I can't. Because to see my mother is to cause another trouble. Well, then, in spite of everything, you still have to go and see her. You have to make an effort. You know, she's doing what she believes is in her own interest. Besides, you can't blame her. You are her only hope. Hey, Ben, please, listen to me, your friend's advice. Your mother is an old woman. And no woman will fold her arms and watch her only pancane get lost in fire. <laughs> Uju, you talk as if you were once an old woman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my wife will be <laughs> sent her regards to you and Jane. Hey, yeah, how is she doing? Well, she traveled to see her mother in the village. <laughs> okay. I have to leave now. Too soon. I have an appointment to catch up with. In that case, we need to see you after your car. Thank you. Thank you. I see you. And please, extend my greetings to Obi and tell her that I will come to see her. When she comes back, we'll do it. All right. Bye. <laughs> Thank you very much for your moral support all this while. I am happy. Obi, Mama, hide this your pregnancy so that devil will be asleep while you put to bed. Evil birds will fly looking for whom to devour. Be very careful. <laughs> Mama, I've heard you. I must be very careful even on what to drink and eat. But Mama, should I mention this to my husband my daughter no don't tell him now you know men they hardly keep secret whenever they hear good news they like to spread it to their friends allow the pregnancy to grow at least up till four months before telling him you know um, be very careful thank you mama i've heard you Hmm? I'll be sending message to brother maker if anything comes up. Hmm? Let me get my bag. Don't tell me that uh, your daughter in law has not given back to any child. That log of wood, all that log of wood knows how to do is to use my son's money to buy expensive jewelry and cars. That is all she knows how to do. What are you doing about her childlessness? Haven't you heard about Uka Dike, the great herbalist in this neighborhood? Take her there or go there and get some medicine for her. Well, she just finished her youth service last week. Mm. Mm. Talk no more. Talk no more! For I have seen what I have been looking for. Since. <laughs> when the time comes, I will meet you. We will see you next September. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye.
How are you today? I'm fine. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, the usual. I'm hectic. Darling, you've been sleeping a lot lately. I hope you're alright. I am okay. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, if you say so. But I would prefer if you just make out some time to go and see Dr. Mike. At least to reassure yourself that you're alright. I am fine. It's alright, right? It's alright. It's all right. <clears throat> Honey, mm -hmm. can you keep this secret for me? What is it? Whatever it is, I promise to keep it between us. Actually, my mother asked me not to tell you for now. Uh. But since we are one body, one soul, I can't keep it to myself any longer. So, tell me, what is it? I am three months pregnant. You mean, I am going to be a father very soon? Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> that is great, okay? Can Anudu must hear this, okay? Can... Oh, forget what your mother said, okay? This is wonderful news. Can Anudu must hear this, okay? Let's let's go in and get. I'm going to get dressed. <laughs> From now on, this is where we'll be taking a supper until our sweet baby is born. No more cooking in the house because I do not want my lovely wife to go through any stress. Okay? No, I disagree. Why? At least the food in the house has a different taste. Besides, so? I have to do the cooking myself as a form of exercise. Oh. Don't worry, Your Highness. We'll still come here occasionally, right? <laughs> okay, Your Majesty. <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> <laughs> Mission woman, for I have no time to waste. I am all ears. My daughter in law is after my life. She has sworn to kill me because I blame her for her inability to conceive and bear my son a child after seven years of marriage. Interesting. Where is the address of her son? To Ukebu Street. I want her eliminated. I want her out of the way. No big deal. This particular woman, how will one locate or spot her? She's the only woman in the compound. It's just a family of three. My son, my daughter-in-law, and the gate man. That's all. My boss can handle that. Okay. Your money is 150000 You have to pay before service. Here is 50,000. I will give you the balance when the job is done. Shut up, woman. Do you think I'm on a buying and selling business here? 
this is human life we are talking about here, okay? You have to pay 100,000 up front and after you bring the balance. I'll bring the balance when the job is done. Please, it's my daughter-in-law that I want to eliminate. Not my son. Please, no mistakes. Go and rest, woman. I assure you, your mission is as good as accomplished. Okay. Thank you. Take care of the house till we are back, okay? Yes, okay. And if anybody comes looking for us, tell the person that we're not around. He or she can write a note, uh, you know. Okay. Okay. What of if person comes from village? Well, um, we're not expecting anyone from the village. But if Mama happens to come, uh, she knows her way in, okay? Uh -huh. right. Open the gate. Scorpion! Scorpion! Maybe they've gone to the city. But it is two days now, and nobody has brought me news about Obekili's death. Or maybe Scorpion and his boys have been caught and arrested. I've got to go to the city before something stupid happens. Yes. Your grandmother, are they inside the house? I, I, they entrapped yesterday now. Nah. 
I mean, you know, tell them, say, you tell them, say, they come. Ma, give me sorry, my bag. Sorry, sorry, ma. Do I have to send you people a telegram before visiting? Sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. Sorry. to your usual hideout to see if I could see you. But when I got there, I, I didn't meet anybody. So I went, went, went to the city to, to, to see... Uh, Shut up! You talk too much. Carry her. We must bury her. Hey! Please! Please! Stop my life! Ah! Please! Please! Hey! Eh. Please! Copy your please, God. Spare my life. Spare my life. I don't even want you to kill my daughter-in-law again. Please, please spare her life. I don't want to kill anybody again. Uh, I promise that immediately I get to the village, I will, I will pay you your balance. It was all my fault. I take the blame. Please, please spare my life. Please. Free her. Oloma, hmm? I am looking forward to seeing you as you promised. Oh. Stone. Guys, let's go. Hey! Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I was my life. I promise that 
never in my life plan evil against anybody. Father, thank you very much. My God! to you. Um, oh, honey, you... honey, come a second. What, what happened? What? Huh? Oh, it's all right. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. 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 It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm sorry. What happened? What happened? As I just did here. I just don't know what to do. At this end, are you there? Come. I said, I said, I can open gate. I just said, focus it for hefty men. Then they just breathe it. And then they ask me, carry me, time for that like this. What exactly are you talking about? My, my mother, how, how come? This TV is not up to one hour. Or oh, 30 minutes when you come. Then I just hear these people, the four empty men. They just enter. Carry me, now for that. Bam. What? Tie me. Carry my mama. What, 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 where did they take my mother to? I don't know. Where did they take my mother to?
there anybody in the house? Mama. Uh, uh, my God. You look awful. Uh, oh, what happened? Tell me, talk to me. What, what happened? Those people told me that your wife, Obegeli, sent them to kill me. Those people? Mama, who are they? Those people? Look, Mama, talk to me, okay? Talk to me. Don't tell me. The people that your wife sent to kill me now. Mm. But my chi is very much alive. My chi is still very much awake. <sighs> Abageli, you will know no peace. Obageli can never know peace. Mama. <sighs> Mama, are you sure of what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Are you? My son, at my age, do you think I will tell you that? <sighs> huh? <clears throat> Abageli sent them to kill me. But my chi is very much alive. Thank God. The dog, a very big grave. Could they wanted to bury me inside that grave? But my chi, my chi saved me. God just gave me the word at the right time. I just screamed, Blood of Jesus! and thunder struck and all of them disappeared and I ran all night <sighs> it's all right. mm. thank god you're safe now okay? hey thank it's god right. I'm alive for mama, mama. Yeah, you me. Me. how dare you come near me I think you can kill me my chin is awake you cannot succeed no way no way You will go inside that place, pack your things, and leave my son's house this moment. Ah, Obiageli, you cannot kill me. I'm very much alive because my chi is alive. <laughs> you think you can deceive me with pillow inside your stomach? Or you can deceive us, me and my son, with that pillow you put inside your stomach? I will pull up that pillow right now. And then you will go and pack your things and leave this house. This minute! Mama... Mama, I am innocent. It might interest you to know that I'm five months pregnant for your son. It's okay. Hmm? Pregnant? Benji? Benji, is it true? Yes, Mama. Obegeli? Ew. Obegeli, Mwam. So you are pregnant? Hey! Obasino Nino. I thank you. You could not thank God, do. Eh? Hey. Wait, wait. Hey! Hey! Oh, baby. Hey. Benji, sit down, my son. Sit down. Hey! Oh, baby, Liz, pregnant. You could not thank God. Oh, praise God. Oh! Oh, baby. Please, my son. My daughter, let us forget anything that has happened in this house. I have forgiven Obegeli. And anything that I have done to you people, please forgive me. Let all bygone be bygone. Please. Eh? Obegeli, pregnant. My daughter, oh yeah, eat, eat, hmm? eat, so that you can feed my grandchild. I don't want the baby to grow fat. Hmm? See these hands, they are very big. I can carry fat children. 
Eat so that let my baby grow. Baby grow. Grow very well. My hands are very fat. I will carry them. Don't worry. Your mother is still alive. Both of us will be here. We'll carry the children. Just give us babies, eh? is big. She's only five months pregnant. Ah, yes. Good. Did you come out in five months? <laughs> ah, it takes nine months, nine full months for a woman to deliver. Well. Ah, you still have some months ahead. Don't worry. I'll soon come back so that I can take care of her in the hospital. Mama, please do as you have promised her. I promise I will come back. And remember to tell Obi's mother too. Oh, Obi's mother will be delighted to hear you. <laughs> and uh, you never can tell if she's free when I'm coming back. She might come with me. Ah, beautiful. Yeah. Better. Better. Uh -huh. Okay. Jude! Jude! Sir! Come, come on, open this gate. Didn't you see us come out? Jude! Uh, Mama. I'm going now. Hey, yeah. If you should take very good care of yourself, okay? Okay, Mama. I'll Mama. see you when next time comes. Yeah, thank you, Mama. Okay. Bye bye, yeah? Bye bye. woman is giving everybody worry. Hmm? Hold on. Man. Man. Uh, I can no longer tolerate this selfish attitude of yours. Why must you live without letting anybody know your movement? Eh? You kept us worried. Why? Uh, uh, now you gilly. Must I wait for you to come back before I respond to my son's urgent call from the city? What urgent call is that? Eh? Can't you wait? Uloma. The village is no longer safe, not to talk of the city. Haven't you heard uh, in recent times the, the strange and terrible things that are happening, eh, both in the city and everywhere? Eh? <laughs> Nanyoguli, what strange and terrible things are you talking about? For your information, my daughter-in-law is about to put to bed. Eh? Yes. And I will soon go to the city and stay on for the Thanksgiving ceremony and even the Omoga. Uh, oh, Loma, you should have you should have informed people. You kept us worried. Eh? I thought that you had been kidnapped. In fact, I was about going to uh, the, the, the police station to report. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> kidnapped. Me, Uloma, kidnapped. <laughs> Anyone that kidnaps Uloma is in trouble. How do you mean? Because the kidnappers will get an important visitor that day. I will stay on and consume 
and consume and eat and eat and eat up all their food until they find me a nuisance and push me out. Don't lose a sleep over Uloma. <laughs> Don't lose a sleep here. Yeah? Uloma cannot be kidnapped. Come, let me go and show you the things my son bought for you. No salary for 15 hours. My mama will beat me for us. Put on red <laughs> At times, I wonder the kind of spirit this woman possesses. Sometimes, she's your good friend. Sometimes, your worst enemy. <laughs> and I have not done her anything wrong. It's today, no, there might be a market that we say we should meet here and discuss. Oloma! Oloma! Eh? Where did you come back from the city? Just yesterday. How is market? Person, okay? Make sure under no circumstance should you kick mommy. Hmm? He is not kicking me. I'm only trying to have your situation he here. He is not kicking okay, me. Okay, okay. Junior, kick mommy. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Mm. I have to go for my appointment now, okay? If anything crops up, give me a call. I am fine. Okay, good. But if anything crops up, give me a call, okay? All right. All I right. will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got to go. Okay. Take care of yourself, right? And you too. Mm. Junior, uh, I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.
Take care of you and Junior until I'm back, okay? <laughs> Darling, the family will miss you too. It won't be easy. I know. <laughs> I'll miss you people too, but um, I'm confident that the eternal Father of mercy will take care of you people. <laughs> Amen. Guide and protect you until I'm back from my trip. Amen. And the almighty God will grant you Johnny mercy. And success. Amen. And you will come back safely through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm. I'll see you when I come back. Hmm? <laughs> Honey. Until I'm back again. How is it coming on? The doctor will soon be with you. Okay. God, I have labored for seven years without any issue. Now that the good Lord wishes to bless me, let the hands of all the evil ones in my household wither and the rice go blind in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Dr. Mike, I, I hope everything is all right. How, how is my wife? I must say congratulations to you, Ben. She gave birth to a baby boy. Huh? Jesus Christ! <laughs> You've done a marvelous thing and it's marvelous in our sight. Dr. Mike, you, you mean I am now a father? You have by the grace of God. Can I go in now and see my wife? No, not now. You have to wait a little bit. That is not yet to with that. So why would you at least go home and get her food and other things that she might need? I, I'll go, Dr. Mike. But, but first, can I at least see my baby? Okay, the baby. Okay, come along. for me, okay? okay? Thank you for being my friend and thank you for being a wonderful doctor. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, my wonderful nurses, you were wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, sir. How do I begin to thank you all for what you've done for me? Thank you. Only God can bless and reward you. Amen. I really appreciate this, okay? Thank um, you, sir. Let me... Um, please... For all of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, too. Thank you, too. And I want to promise you that I'll invite you all for my son's naming ceremony that will come up very soon. <laughs> well, again, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Mike. I really appreciate you. So, we'll take care of that. Thank you so much. It's a bit kind. Doctor, thank you. We should not thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Baby, bye bye. I've been trying to reach you since I left the country. What's up? 
Yes, your family is fine. I went there yesterday. Look, you don't need anyone to tell you that. I won. Everything about him is the same as mine. He's a chief of the old block. What did you, what did you call him? <laughs> the golden boy. He's your golden boy. <laughs> mm, no cause for alarm. I'll tell her. I'll tell her. I can. I can. I hope you'll be back before the month runs out. Please, 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 please try. I have booked the last Saturday of the month for your golden boy's naming ceremony. <laughs> okay then, I'll expect you. Uh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you very much, thank you. How is your business coming on? Aha! Bring plenty of dollars back. Uh, for your golden boy now. <laughs> it's alright, I'll expect you. I'll call you later. Man like uh, the father. Is he not the owner of this house? If he likes, hey, he can donate hey. anywhere he wants to. Mm. Please leave my son there for me. I beg you. Benji is correct. Hmm? That reminds me. When I gave birth to him, he urinated on his oh, father's oh, favorite oh, outfit. So his father said exactly the same thing. <laughs> Men, they are always like that. Come on, are you embarrassing me, please? Ah, yeah, you. you. Oh, John, you are just <laughs> wetty, wetty pants. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I take him to, he urinate. <laughs> oh, Mama, the baby is still tender. Hey, hey! Ah, before I forget, eh? Oh, dear, Mama. Yeah. Something about the baby, yeah? Come and eat your food. I personally prepared all food is for you. I want. Oh, oh food is there. Wait, wait, wait. Lest I forget. Mm. Ken phoned today when I was in the office. Mm. Mama, what is wrong? Mm, because he's your twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. He said he'll be coming back by the end of this month. And I have fixed my son's naming ceremony for the last Saturday of I this month. Hey! That's a good idea. <laughs> Very good idea. Mm -hmm. You know, when they were young, people used to think that Ben and Ken were twin brothers. Mm. Yeah, mama, sorry, the lad. Hey, mama, people mm. still don't believe they're not from the same womb. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Ken and I are inseparable, mm. and we remain so until death do us part. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Please, I want to eat my food. Well, I beg you. you wouldn't be able to make it for the child naming ceremony. In fact, I was almost ready to leave. Well, I promised Ben that I would make it and I wouldn't have missed it for anything in the world. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how are the kids? Where are they? Oh, I took them over to 
Okay, fine. Uh, I'll just go and freshen up so that we can go together. All right. Is that okay? Yes, but I'll come with you, so I will run your back for okay. you. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> happens to this baby, I'm finished. God, please, please save our baby, please. Oh, please, God, intervene. Save my grandson, please save him. Is my Gino responding to treatment? Be a man. I'm sorry, he gave up the ghost.
that you could have given us life for. Save the baby's life, God. You are the ancient of death, beginning and the end, great of heaven and earth. Alpha and Omega, the heaven. God, you are the God that makes impossible things to be possible. <laughs> Since you cannot save my baby for me, what else are you good for? And what else are you good for? I hope you're sleeping well. I do not want anyone to disturb you, okay? But by the time I wake up, she must be there. <laughs> What about these toys? What about these toys? 
I know what you want to do. You think you can leave all these and go without saying a word to daddy? Fritz. <laughs> your cunning, Fritz, your cunning. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Mama, I saw her going out with my baby. I... Yes, who is this? Jim, 
What did he do with money? Nine years since I started practicing. I have never witnessed such things. Doctor, why are you saying this? Eh? What are you talking about? Is she going to survive this? Mama, this is no time for tears. Only pray fervently for God to heal. I am only his instrument. Okay, oh. Mama. Please don't do this to your mother. Since your father died, this is the greatest shock I have ever had. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God. I am a poor widow. I am a poor widow. Oh, please don't do this to me. Save my daughter's life, God. My hands are clean. My hands are clean, God. Oh, I'll be well. <laughs> hey, another one. Hey, <laughs> another one. Bounce. Hey, come on, Junior. Come on, come on. Hey, <laughs> you get it. Hey. <laughs> yeah, kick, let me see. Kick, let me see. Hey, another. Kick, another. Kick, kick. Yes. Hey. Again, again. Score, score. Hey. I got it. Look, I am the winner. <laughs> Juju, come on, girl. Give me five, give me five. Hey, I want a five. Hey. Honey, please. I want to feed him. Hey. Like, right, come. Mm. Oh, B. Yes. You're too fond of him. Okay, tell me. What if he dies? What will you do? Who died? Junior. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you'll probably die with him because he's the center of my happiness. <laughs> and what about you? Me? Yes. Ha! Look, I will give whoever is responsible. Oh. That person will not see the face of the sun. Juju! <laughs> 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 It's not going. Darling, keep on trying his line. Maybe Obi has been discharged. I hope so. Oh. Oh. The baby everyone has been expecting has gone. Now Obi is sick. All these things are strange to me. Ben's line is still not going through. God. Why me? Why should I be the cause of the calamity that has befallen my own best friend? Why me and not someone else? Darling, calm down. Calm down. It's okay. Calm down. Come and sit down. My prayer is let nothing happen to Obi. That's just my prayer. Amen. Nothing will happen to him. It's alright. It's all right.
I living for? <sighs> My best friend's wife and baby are dead. And I am the cause. <sighs> God, where are you? <sighs> it's okay, Ken. We can't question God. <sighs> Crying will not solve this problem. Man, pull yourself together. Chief, the fault wasn't from you. Then whose fault was it? If I hadn't carried the baby, it wouldn't have fallen down and died. God has a purpose for this. Yes. If he has not destined it, nothing would have happened. Exactly. Yes. Chief, it's a pity that this kind of a thing befell your family. But look at the other side of life. I mean the better side of life. Chief, it's okay. Don't kill yourself. Yes. Put yourself together. Yes. Yes. Well, I thank you all for coming here to be with us console us and encourage us. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, I have to go upstairs. I, I, have, a, I have a slight headache. I remember when I was a little boy, my father told me this story about a woman who strangled her baby. Luck caught up on her and she died mysteriously. My God! Her husband became mad. She also died. It's okay, stop crying. It's okay, stop crying. This will not bring her back. I am You are not. You are not. You are not. You are not. Oh! 
He cannot change it. My son, please listen to me. No amount of fears or silence will bring Obi back. Please, please. Your mother is right. The mistake has been made by your friend Ken. What happened was not deliberate. The time set and uses one one to break up what took years to be built. Had it been, I wasn't there with Wakwe. Ken will have succeeded in hanging himself. We are not here to open up your wounds, but to pay condolence. At the same time, pay for Ken's forgiveness. There is no problem. There is no problem. My case is the doctor to our two families, so I, I can't argue with him. I forgive Ken even before the burial of my wife and child. It's all right. I'll make our time and go and see him. Thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate this. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. My son will go and see Ken. I assure you it will be all right. Thank you very much. I beg to tell I leave. Me too. morning time we shine in the evening we all wither God you know the best and that is why you have taken our beloved wife and son away death is a fruit that everyone must eat one day be you old or young. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. May Almighty God grant you eternal rest. Brother Ben, Comfort and pay 
the last tribute to her. I'll be my beloved wife. You cared for me like a baby. We loved each other so dearly. Now that our love is supposed to grow stronger, after all we passed through in the cause of searching for a baby, death tore us apart. Rest in peace, my wife. I love you even unto death. so precious to me, more precious than gold. Your late mother and I suffered terribly to have you. But you decided to join her, leaving me childless and a widower. Rest in perfect peace, my son. Rest in peace. child even before I could see you. I bore you in my hands, yet lost you in a fall. My golden child, I regret being the cause of your death. Please forgive me. Your death was not deliberate. It was never intended. It was an accident. Rest in peace, golden child. Rest in perfect peace.
God nobody died. I'm happy I escaped with my life. Jesus Christ, what actually happened? As the barrier was going on, four men appeared from nowhere and started shooting everywhere. Shooting everywhere? Yes, my sister. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Why should someone plan to stop the barrier of Chief Ben's wife and son? I don't know. I don't know. These are villages no longer safe. Mm. I'm still scared. Hey. I'm scared. Hmm. Nee. I'm going. gave us a grandson. But the devil will never rest. The devil just appeared from nowhere in its wickedness and snuffed life out of mother and child. Who is after me? Who is after me, father? Hey! Hey, whoa. Hmm. did not offend anybody before he died. Hey, who is after this family? Who? a big slap on all of us. Who knows if they were sent to come and kill us during the burial ceremony. I have never had such a terrible experience since I was born. I thought that King ran away with us. Not until everywhere was calm that I heard he was a victim of the assassins. Hey. hey. Only God saved me from the hands of those heartless men. Only God. Ben. Ken! Ken. Ken, who did this to you? I said, who did this to you? Can you recollect any single face that was involved in this barbaric act? My God. What would I have told people if you were killed? No. I must find out the brains behind this. I must do something. Oh, yes, I must. <sighs> ben, calm down. We must all give praise to God. We saved our friends from those unidentified killers. Ben, thank God that I'm alive. I mean, thank God. Yes, sir. But I must find out those behind this. I must. Oh, yes. They cannot go unpunished. They mustn't go unpunished. They mustn't. Huh. Thank God. Thanks. I just, I just thank you. Thank God for that. seems right to you is to add insult to it. Olama, our people say that an elder who tries to cover the truth will be struck by the spirit of his ancestors. When the day breaks, the secrets of the night will be revealed. An elder who says what he doesn't know will be used as a dish rag. Shame unto you. 
Okay, shame on to you. Shame on to you. Shame on to you. I am very happy about Chief Ken's quick recovery. Oh, it's our Lord's doing. After all the terrible things he passed through. But what I'm worried about is if you have any information about those involved. Johnson, how could you ask me such a question? I didn't mean it that way. Hold on to whatever you meant. We were all present at the burial ceremony. How could I have gotten any information about this? Okay. Well, I'm sorry if I offended you. Um, I'll be going to Ken's house to know how he feels today. When he get there, I'll my greetings to him and his household. I will see him at the meeting tomorrow. That's all right. Good day. My pleasure. So that God will do the same, the same thing He has done to us to you. Amen. 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 And it must happen. Yes, I claim no. it. I claim it. I claim it. <laughs> Sleeping. I'm always grateful to God for giving me a wonderful family. I will ensure that they are well provided for. And as for my 
little girl Jane. I must make sure that she gets quality education. God is just good. Honestly, Ken, I wish I were you. I've got to leave now, okay? I just stopped by to see how you guys are doing. What kind of life is this? After the death of my son and my wife, life has been so miserable for me. If only my son were alive today. I would have been taking him to school like a proud father. You are useless and worthless. Since you cannot save my baby for me. What else are you good for? Or what else are you good for? Aha, my brains. You think I do not know that these are the clothes I bought for you from Japan. Ha ha ha. Oh. <sighs> My friends, what about these toys, eh? What about these toys? <laughs> I know what you want to do. You it's okay. After killing my son and making me a widower, He's proud to tell me that he will give his daughter quality education. Mama, you have heard your uncle. Listen to his advice. Hmm? Forget about the death of your son and your first wife, Obi. Hmm? You have married Clara. So you, I will expect you to go and live with her. Huh? And raise a new family. Start a new life. Okay? okay. And God will bless your union. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Mama. Thank you. Please, take very good care of yourself, okay? And Uncle Ogeli. You'll be hearing from me later. Yes. I'll uh, try. <laughs> okay. What did you tell my son? Mama, Mama please. Mama, main, main, main yeah, stalker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you tell him? <laughs> tell me. What did he say? Uh, your uncle is right. You have to go and score the goal. Uh, ma mama, please. Yeah. Uh, go another goal. Oh, uh, mama, I shouldn't should should have told you. Anybody in this office? <laughs> the again. Again. Please sit down. Thank you, my brother. Ah. You're welcome. Thank you. So how are things generally? Well, we thank God. And uh, how is Clara? Still the same, Ken. Still the same. Still the same. Well, um, I can only advise that you keep on being more patient. I must commend you for your patience and endurance. Just endure some more. I'm sure that in God's own time, He will bless you people with children. That's what our pastor said, and I don't doubt him. Oh, thank God someone else has told you the same thing. I'm happy to hear that. It's all right. It's all okay. right. What about the goods you were clearing at the port yesterday? Are you... Yes, that's actually why I came, okay? I cleared everything yesterday. Oh, thank great. you very much for your help. Please, thank you. Please, I really appreciate it. Please, please. That's why you're my brother. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're my brother. My pleasure. My thank pleasure. you very much. Yeah. Um, let me hurry and see Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike? Mm -hmm. Any problem? The usual. Clara now underwent a series of fertility tests two days ago. I'm just going there for the results. Okay. 
Well, I'm waiting to hear the good news. I'll keep you posted. Thank I you once again. I wish you all the best. Give my regards to Clara. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Send me well to you. Right. Clara. I am leaving for work. I may not come back in time. Why, honey? I expected you to come home early so we can meet up with the doctor's appointment. Which appointment, Clara? Oh, no, no, tell me, which appointment? Three years, Clara. It's almost three years since my mother brought you here. Not even a conception not to talk of a miscarriage. Look, I can't continue with this incessant laughter. I am sick and tired, okay? Please, honey. Hmm? Don't despair. Even though God heals, let's still adhere to the doctor's advice. Honey, remember what our pastor said? I remember what our pastor said, okay? I've heard the pastor so very many times I can quote it word for word. But the bottom line here is I am the solution. Can't you see? I'll see you when I come back. Please. I wish you seeing the doctor. Maybe. Honey, what about breakfast? Look, I am not hungry. I'm almost late for work. I'll see you when I come back. Hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, Time is not on your side. Yeah. Head, is that all you're taking to school? No, Dad. My big brother is inside the car. Okay. okay. Uh, Chris. Remember all that I told you. Make sure you see Jane through her registration. And equally make sure that she's well accommodated in the hostel. If you run out of cash, you know what to do through our Lagos branch. And if there's any emergency at all, call me. Is that clear? Yes, Chief. Good. Um, Chief. Jane, your daughter here is so dear to me. I haven't been your manager for almost seven years. I watched her grow. And I'm happy she's entering the university. Thank you. Chief, I assure you she's in safe hands. Thank you. <laughs> You've heard Chris, my daughter. Make sure you keep in touch, okay? And be a good girl. Yes, Mom. Mommy. Dad. I'm going to miss you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd love both of you to come with me to the camp. Eh? Sister uh, Jen. <laughs> no, you can't say a thing like that. If you go with them, who's going to cook for me and wash my clothes? <laughs> no, big boy. Please Thank you imagine. Know. But I'm going to miss you, my lovely brother. But I hope by the time I come back from my long vacation, you must have learned how to cook and of wash for yourself. You know. <laughs> miss you, eh? Well, the road is well, far. Chris, you yes, people had better so start going. My dear, Jane, quick, quick, quick. Your road is yes. far. Go. <laughs> Has she gone to the supermarket? Um, yes, she has. She left about 10 minutes ago. Oh. You know I can't afford you going back to school without us having our usual time out. Oh, God. But I'm scared. I mean, I'm scared of sleeping with you in your bedroom, sitting room, and everywhere in the house. Okay, can't we look for a hotel or somewhere else? Don't have to worry. My wife has gone to the supermarket and she's going to spend at least two hours. You know, sir. Sure. Remember now, she said she was going to make her hair in the same supermarket before she comes. Mm. 
Mondom, bir bir yok ki. your trip uh, but it's past uh, working hours so we'll start registration first thing tomorrow morning the university okay that's good i'm glad you arrived lagos safely i hope jane is doing well yes. okay great just remember what i told you be security conscious and don't fail to call me in case of an emergency okay yes sir okay. all right okay bye bye Please, let me talk to daddy. Oh, you talk to him later. Oh, you would have allowed me to talk to my daddy now. Honey, Jane has arrived Lagos safely. <laughs> hey, God! So, my daughter is now an undergraduate. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey! Darling, do you know what? I'll just give her two weeks to settle down. Then I will pay her a surprise campus visit. Why? Hey! To replenish her provision bag, of course. What do you think? <laughs> You're just looking for what to do. No, 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 no. <laughs> you just want to go. Can I come with you, Mom? Oh, you go with me, of course, my darling. Come here, come here, come and sip a drink. Come, 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 come. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Just a little sip. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> well, thank God by tomorrow hey. we'll start doing the registration. Honestly, thank God. Where is the girl? I had to check her into a hotel. A hotel? Why? What happened to our guest room? Um, it's okay. See, I'm okay with it. And I'm comfortable with the arrangements. What do you mean? Honey, I'm hungry. And I need my meal. I'll get you your food. But honey, you know this is Lagos. Chief Ken's daughter is certainly comfortable in our home than in a hotel room. 
Stella, you're pregnant and I don't want you to pass through any stress. Remember the last time your cousin spent some time with us? He accused me of infidelity and eventually fought her and threw her out of the house. What do you mean? What do you mean? But I actually saw both of you. I saw you in a compromising position. What do you have to say? Chief Ken's daughter is a teenager. She's 19, going to 20. I'll get you your food. I've been trying James' number since and her phone has been switched off. Is that not very unusual? I don't think so. Maybe she forgot to switch it on. Or her battery is down. Or maybe she's in the registry office where she must switch it off. Okay, let me try Chris. everything is all right. Why won't Chris pick my call? It's possible he's in the bathroom. If he's in the bathroom, why won't the wife pick the call? What if they are together? Okay. But I have to be on my way. I, uh, I'll call again when I get to the office. It's all right. Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> have a nice day. You too. I checked in my boss's daughter um, yesterday evening and you were the same person that checked her in. Yes, I was the person that checked her in and I was the person that checked her out this morning. What are you trying to say? Of course, you came in here this morning and checked her out. I did what? Come, come. Where, where is Jane? I left her in this hotel last night and now you're telling me stories. Oga, you alone know what you're up to. Ah. Okay. I see you're joking. I'm not joking, it's you that is joking. Ah, yes. I'm joking, eh? Yes. I'm joking. Of course, I'm joking. Okay. I'm joking, Adi. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Trusted his daughter in my care and I can't find her any longer. What are you talking about? Did she have come from your house or what? No, I didn't take her to the house. Huh? I checked her into this hotel. Chris, Chris, why must you commit such a terrible blunder? I'm sure she doesn't know anywhere in this city. She doesn't, she doesn't. Okay, tell me, what prevented you from keeping her in your house? Andrew, it's a long story. Have you informed the, uh, the parents or the police? Not yet, not yet. See, Andrew, I'm confused. I'm a madman. Okay, okay, okay. We do know what to do now. Let's inform the police now, right away. Please. Police, let's let's do that. Andrew, what? Andrew, can you? I don't know why you should make such a mistake.
about one Miss Jane who was lodged into this hotel yesterday evening but could not be accounted for this morning. Yes, officer. This man here brought in the lady here yesterday evening and checked her in. This morning, he came back and checked her out. I even helped her carry her luggage into his car. And he gave me a tip of 200 naira. Sir, this is our check out me. He signed her out. Let me see where it is. Then an hour later, he came back in under clothes, pretending to be looking for that same girl. Mr. Man, is this your signature? Officer, that is not my signature. 13 Ajay Street. Is that where you live? No, I don't even know where Ajay Street is. So. Well, that's the address whoever checked her out wrote. But we must check it up. Meanwhile, Mr. Man, you are the receptionist. Yes, sir. You are under arrest. Why, officer? What has he done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, we need the police ambulance to convey them to the mortuary. Yes, sir. We're coming right away. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chris, I'm afraid you have to follow us to the station to explain for them what happened to this young girl and the man lying outside. Sela. Sela, are you home? Ah, Andrew, Andrew, you're welcome. You almost get me. I hope that all is well. Stella, Stella, all is not well. All is not well. There's a big problem. Problem. Chris has been arrested and detained by the police. Chris, my own Chris. Yeah. What has he done this time? What did he do? His boss's daughter Jane is dead. Jane? Dead? Chief Ken's daughter? How did she die? We don't know, we don't know, we don't know. Just that the police is suspecting him, does it? My God. I want Chris. I want him, but he wouldn't listen. I want him to bring this girl up. Now see the problem he has brought to us. Oh. Oh.
for you to do? Network problem or no network problem, I know my daughter Jane. She must reach me. Would you please calm down? I'm not coming down, my husband. I can't. I can't calm down. I can't. Something is wrong with my daughter. I'm set for Lagos. Wait, wait, I am set wait, for Lagos. Wait, wait, wait. Would you please? You have to okay. be courageous. Nobody is happy about this situation. Our son Frank has been crying all day. Please, take care of him. Let me go and get dressed and then go and see Ben. And then we'll know what to do. You better do it quickly because my mind is set up to Lagos. You better, you better do it. Ben, help. Ben, I am worried. I am very, very worried. Jane's phone has been switched off since morning. Chris's phone was on for a while and now it's switched off. I have a feeling something terrible must have happened. If by tomorrow morning I don't hear from them, I'm going to Lagos with the next available flight. Ken, Ken, calm down. Nothing has happened. Jane is all right. Nothing is going to happen to her. Just get yourself together, okay? My phone. Hello? Jane, is that... Chris? Then who is it? The police. I'm wanted at the police station in Le Which police station? Okay, 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 okay. What is it? The police want me in Lagos. Why? They say it's in connection with my daughter. I told you. They won't tell me if she's okay or not. I have to leave. I have to go to my house and I'll pick up a few things and then I'll, I'll take the next available flight to Lagos. Uh, so, hey, Ken, just, just calm down, okay? Take things easy. Okay, okay. And please give me a call as well. Okay, as okay. Let, let, me, uh, let, let, me, let me walk you. Let me walk you through. Chris! Ah! No! Are you ready to talk? What do you know about their death? Because I've told you everything I do. <laughs> Listen, for the final time. Tell me the truth and get yourself free. Office, officer, I've told you the truth. I can see you're hiding. Ah! That officer, how did you kill them? Officer, ah! Ah! What is the truth? Ah! Officer, officer, this is wrong. Why can't anyone? Why can't anyone? Take him back to the hey. Good afternoon, officers. Good day, madam. You're welcome. Thank you. Please, I'm here to see Mr. Chris Okonta. Chris Okonta? Yes. Who are you? I'm his wife. So, what do we do for you? I want to see my husband. Oh, 
Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Je peux qu'il bat tout le temps, ça Tell me my daughter is dead. Please, take it easy. Take it easy. We are still investigating and we must get to the bottom of it. Please. Chris, what have I done to deserve this? Service. Bring in the criminal. I never knew you were such a monster. The devil incarnate. Chief Abin no said, Chief. Chief. No said. Chief. Chief. Jane is like my daughter. I love that. I couldn't have done such a thing to her, Chief. Chief. Ah! 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 This certainly looks like a hideout for criminals. Our investigative team is still at work to find out how your daughter got here in the first place and who the real owner of this guest house is. So, DPO, my daughter is now history. Chris and whoever is involved in this will pay dearly. You know, Chief, further investigations reveal that he never registered your daughter in school. What, what wickedness? How mean can you get? I will go to any length to make sure that Chris pays dearly for it. After all the instructions I gave him the day they were leaving, after all I did for that boy, he was my manager for over seven years. 
Would you like to see? No, 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 no. Just take me to the mortuary. Let me see the body of my daughter. Nobody is going to convict your husband. We are working on the process of law. Yeah. I warned him, oh, I did, but he wouldn't listen. Now see the mess he has landed himself into. Don't talk like that. Nobody will intentionally put himself into trouble. After all, nobody says, boil hot water for me, I'm going to fall from the tree. Your husband didn't know he would get into this problem. You owe him prayers and encouragement. Is that okay? Um, Barrister, please, do everything possible. Chris is a very dear friend to me. And we can't afford to lose him, please. How do I explain to the world that my husband was sentenced to death for a crime he did not commit? Hell! Madam, you're always sounding negative. And you, Chris, friend, encourage madam. Everything will be all right. We have one major problem here. The receptionist who is one of the key witnesses, have been invited to the court. We all have to pray together so that he does not testify against your husband, Chris. Amen. If he says anything negative in the court, I think we are in for problem. I think that is where we should be concentrating now. Apart from that, everything is under control. Everything will be well. Amen. Oh. Hmm? Amen. Just pray for your husband. We will meet in court. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Yeah, we'll be on our way. Madam, remember what I told you. Be careful. Take care of yourself and remember you are pregnant. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. All right. in the hotel where the second disease was lodged a night before she met her to death. He is my first witness. Mr. Okoye, could you please tell this honorable court how you got to know the accused, Chris Okota? The first day I met the accused was the day he came into our hotel with a lady and checked her in. He came back the following morning and checked her out. Then an hour later, he came back asking for that same girl. This time around, he has already changed his clothes. Thank you, Mr. Fay. That will be all, my lord. Any cross-examination? Yes, my honor. Receptionist Okoye. Can you recognize me? Your face looks familiar. <laughs> familiar, you said. So you cannot say for sure that you know me? Not exactly. Not exactly. Here you come again. Not exactly. Don't you think that it is the same mistaken identity that we are battling here? The accused person here could have been misplaced by your sense of reasoning. You recognize the accused having walked in with a lady and walked out. And some seconds ago you told this honorable court that he came back an hour later after changing his clothes. And yet you are saying you don't know me. Don't you think that you must have misrecognized the accused person? You can't help noticing the young man. Why? Not only were they holding themselves tightly like lovers, the young man actually gave me a tip of 200 naira for helping him carry the girl's luggage to his car. 
He gave you 200 naira tips. And they were holding themselves like lovers. You want to tell this honorable court that you can recognize every face that gives you tips, that you can recognize the person there. Objection, my lord. The young man here is not under trial in this court. Objection sustained. As court pleases. But my lord, I want to buttress here that the accused person, my clerk, is facing trial here on murder case. This court knows the gravity of the case. My accused is standing trial, murder. And every point and every proof is expected to be proved beyond reasonable doubt. Beyond all shadow of doubt, my lord. The witness here is the only witness that determines what the court has been looking for. Therefore, the life of the accused is tied on the neck of this witness. If he says what is not proper, the witness has been speaking on misrecognition. He has said a mistaken identity. I rest my case, my lord. Um, objection is sustained. The police had investigated the witness and found him and all his activities not implicated. Um, My Lord, I would like to invite Mr. Kola Kasiwowo. He's the DPO in whose station the investigations were carried out. Your Honor, after thorough investigations by my men and I, we came to the conclusion that the accused actually checked out the girl on that fateful morning and then took her to another guest house where, with the intention of luring her to bed and having sex with her. Order in the court. It was in the process of raping her that the girl died. The accused also shot and killed one uh, Malam Adamu, and who, who was a security guard in, uh, at number 13 uh, uh, Ajay Street. Any cross examination? There is none, my lord. But I would like to restate my stand in this case as the defense counsel to the accused that the prosecution here are still on the same issue we are talking, mistaking identity, my lord. The accused person should be seen innocent until the contrary is proved. That is what the criminal proceedings requires. I want to take my lord to the case of Aro v. Duffy, page 68 at subsection 2, 138. The trial judge, Lord Doda, said, and I quote, It is better, my lord, to convict 99 possible criminals than to convict one innocent person. I still maintain that my accused, Mr. Conta, is not guilty of this said crime. I rest my case. Mr. Chris Oconta, before I deliver my judgment, do you have anything more to say? Your Honor. I, 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 I did not kill anybody. I'm innocent. You are innocent. Going by all the evidence tendered before this court, I hereby find the accused guilty as charged. Oh. I therefore sentence him to death by hanging. Hey. That's the judgment of this court. God! Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
understand how you feel. Believe me, I understand how you feel. But justice has been served. It's all right. Uju, it's all right. So you've been a friend, eh? Yes, sir. Yeah. That's very good. Uh, yeah. I think I'm pictures. Uh, Adamu no deal. Uh, if you say you have seen snap pictures. Ah, uh, okay. If you say you have about Roman photos. Now maybe the Roman photos. Okay, now you're Wait, Roman. Wait, I show you. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's true. Now maybe you have all these things. Now you, eh? Uh, ah, very fun pictures, them all. You see? You see? Ah. Uh, so, which one is this one? Ah, nah, the Adamu, the get one of this house, let me this. Eh? Uh, uh, now, wow. And this one, man, go? Ah, uh, nah, Adamu, the guy, the man, where get this house, the, the landlord. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, I get, uh, now I get this place. Ah, do you get it? If you like to say, now, one snap. Uh, yes, no, 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 Mm, very fine. Ah. Romanus. Yes, sir. I'm afraid you have to follow us to the police station. Uh, why now? Oga, okay. who is from the police station? No, no, no. no. I don't go. Come here. Oga, okay, leave me now. Oh, no, no, leave me now. I'm not a quiet deal. Ah. Oga, okay, beg now. What, what should I do now? Oga. Okay. to run the delay in the execution of that condemned criminal, Mr. Chris Okuta. Why? Sir, the execution date has already been fixed. Sir, there is an emergency. We cannot kill an innocent man. What emergency? So have a look at this. This is the picture of the landlord of the guest house. And a damn What? How come? 
So the picture was taken by one Roman uh, of Roman photos, who happened to be a friend to the late Adam mm -hmm. that was killed alongside the girl. So we have to arrest the landlord immediately. Meanwhile, we've detained uh, the photographer for security reasons. Inspector. Sir. What is happening? Sir, that is the new development, sir. I think I have to get in contact with uh, Ken. You can go. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your service. speaking. No, DPO, this can't be true. DPO, it can't be true. No, no, no. It, it, can, it cannot be true. No. Oh, God. It, 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 it can't be true. Is I hot? This is incredible. What is it? This is just incredible. What is the problem now? I I say, what is the problem? It's a very urgent situation. I won't leave your life. You tell me what. It's an emergency. This is the very thing, at least. Do you know this man? 
No. I have never met him in my life. Are you sure? I'm positive. Mr. Rhodes. Yes, officer. Do you know this man? Yes. He owns the guest house where my friend Adam used to work. Chief, do you recognize this photograph? At the guest house. Ah, this is what we want now. If like say something better than happen. Eh? <laughs> you know me well, well now. Ah, now nah, the new girlfriend we are get to. Now you say make I give one of my picture. And now you find you since you guys now. Adam, you two yeah. they change girlfriend. They like us now because we got to do me fine. Uh, yes, you. Oh, yeah, go stand here. I might take a picture. I like uh, it. Uh, great. Make, make the smile. Yeah. Make the uh, bone. I think she will like this, uh, this one. If you see my boy, you know, like him. Yeah, well, well. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Smile, <laughs> smile, smile. Yes, sir. Yes. This one good. Ah, uh, hey, don't care like that. Yeah. Okay, come, 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 come. I know what. Uh, I want to hey. here. Yeah, uh, say here, say more than one. Ah, say here, wait. Wait, tell this now. Uh, hi! Now, let me make you my good friend now. Uh, yeah, thank you, well, well. Thank you. Hey, I think uh, she will like this one, well, well. Put that like this. Ah, uh, no, the other one. This one. Ah, uh, it's okay. Hi! Back to that, you train us. You will like them at all? Uh, if I count three, I will take them. Okay. One, two, Three. Three, sir. Three. What's going on here? Hello? Adam, who is this joker? Uh, I'll be the one who's the Get out of my compound before I throw you off. Get out of my compound before I throw you off! If I see that man here again inside my compound, you lose your job. Get out of my side before I throw you off. Get out of my side and go to the left. Man to see my lawyer. Inspector? So take him out. Officer, please now. I know Adam. I know the Adam. Adam is my best friend. Officer, please. Chief, could you please tell us what is going on between you and your friend? I don't know what you're talking about. As a true owner of the house, how could such an event take place without your notice? The photographer has shown us concrete evidence to prove that you were in Lagos during the time of the incident. I am yet to understand what you're saying. <sighs> okay. Excuse us. Chief, if you tell me the truth, I promise I'll get out of this mess and you leave this country in the next 24 hours. I promise. Are you sure of what you're saying? I'm very sure.
It's a long story. single man and he escaped. Jesus Christ. I should have been condoling his wife by now. It will happen again, Chief. We are sorry we came in late. That is not the issue. Your coming in late is not the issue. You knew your target. You should have gone straight for your target. Instead, all of you came next one and were firing into the air. Ah. Shut up, let me see. Shut up. Shut up. By now, I should have been condoling his wife. Don't you understand? Chief, this will repeat itself again. Of course, it will repeat itself again. I am no longer interested, okay? Nonsense. After my first attempt to eliminate him failed, I decided to let go and bury my sad past for good. But Kern stared the honest nest when he openly boasted before me of his great intention to give his daughter Jane quality education. With my son dead, I had nothing else to live for. I vowed to make sure that Jane does not live to enjoy her father's grand wish. I bided my time. My time came when Jane gained admission into the university.
Actually killed the girl. Yes. But we'll see. Remember your promise. Okay. I'll make it worth your while. Brother Chris. How are you today? This may be the last time that I will come to visit you. But I know there is always hope for the hopeless in Christ Jesus. I know that by now, you have believed and accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, I pray that you grant your servant Chris, Johnny Mercy, to the land where we meet to part no more. For at this we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. It is well with you. May the Almighty God be with you. Chris, come up, come up. How are you today? Very bad. Very, very bad. Officer. Thanks, my dear. How do you bury prisoners? Just as they bury any other person. Do they have undertakers in this prison. I'm not quite sure about that. What about experienced grave diggers? Maybe. Officer, who is coming? Chris, Chris. Hello. Chris, how are you? Andrew. Why did you bother coming? My time is up. Reverend Minister just left, and I guess that is the last time he will be coming. How about Stella and, and her pregnancy? Terribly worried. A bit sick. Good night, Chris. Good night. Bye. Bye.
in my 44 years of legal practice, I have never witnessed a case like this. The prisoner on the witness box, Chris O'Conta, was condemned some days ago on the same charges. Sometimes people like to run away from their shadows. Some even try to run away from the law. Today the law has caught up with the accused and justice has to prevail. Chief Benjamin Mwachuku, you are hereby sentenced to death for the twin murder of Miss Jane Facho and Mala Mademu. You shall be hanged until you be dead. May the Lord have mercy on your soul. Praise the contact. You're not a free man. Thank you, Jesus. Innocent girl, an innocent girl, your friend's daughter. 